just thought I would quickly um, remind you of the difference between the books of Kings and Chronicles. Uh, both books cover the same history of Israel. So it's interesting to know why do we have both of them in the Bible. And the answer, I believe, is found in the original audience that each book was written to. So the book of Kings, I believe, was written to the Jews who are in exile. And so therefore it's answering questions that the Jews in exile in Babylon would have. Questions like, why are we in exile? Why has God forsaken us? Has God forsaken us? Is there hope for the future? How do we get into this mess? How do we get out of this mess? And thus the book of Kings gives an apology for God's work in sending his people into Israel. It also shows his faithfulness to the blessings and the cursings of the Mosaic Covenant. God said under the cursings of the covenant, if Israel disobeyed, he would send them into exile. But the good news is that if they will therefore repent, he will bring them back. In contrast, the book of Chronicles is written to the Jews who have come back from exile. And so the book of Chronicles is a lot more positive. Its focus is on the temple, because when the exiles came back um, from Babylon, they had to rebuild the temple. And the book of Chronicles shows that every king who was related well to the temple was blessed, and every king that did not relate well to the temple was cursed. Chronicles also starts with the nine chapters of genealogies that connects the exiles with the Jewish people of old. And so it's saying to these exiles who've come back, who may be discouraged, who may say, wow, we're pathetic, aren't we? Um, it's saying to those returnees, you are the people of God. You are the ones who have inherited the covenants and the promises. It's now over to you to fulfill the, um, the agenda that God had for you as God's people. Uh, Chronicles also focuses on the Davidic line. So the northern king of Israel is, is almost completely ignored in the book of Chronicles. Why? Because it was taken away cap into captivity in 721 BC, never to return. Uh, when the northern kingdom was taken away, and, and even in fact when the division of the kingdoms happened, a lot of people from the north migrated to the south. And so um, in Chronicles, the writer is seeking to unite all those tribes back in, into one people of Israel. So, so unity is a key thing in the book of Chronicles. Focus on the Davidic covenant, focus on the temple, focus on prayer, and a, and a much more positive kind of book. We know it's more positive because when you look at the life of David, for example, in Chronicles, none of the negatives are mentioned that were mentioned in the book of Samuel. So that's just a, a little note on the difference between Kings and Chronicles, all in the, uh, the original audience to which those books were written.